Japan wary of war with China over Taiwan. China's recent moves cause for concern. As of late, China has been continually testing Taiwan's air defenses through repeated intrusions, diplomatically pressurizing organizations such as the World Health Organization to exclude Taiwan, and threatening economic sanctions on those who seek official trade deals with Taiwan. China views Taiwan as an integral part of itself and has vowed to retake the island via any means necessary. China has also been constructing artificial militarized islands around Taiwan with the intention of cutting off Taiwan from outside help. This to Japan shows that China is probably about to employ military force to take Taiwan. Hence, Japan fears that it may have to come to Taiwan's aid under the collective self-defense principle. Furthermore, Japan also believes that China may even attack them first. Japan controls many strategically important assets, which include uh, Yonaguni, the disputed Senkaku or Diaoyu islet, uh, yeah, islets, as well as Okinawa that hosts many US bases. As Okinawa will most certainly be attacked due to its US bases, Japan may be dragged into a war of self-defense whether it wants to or not. The alternative is that Chinese forces will bypass Okinawa via the Miyako Strait, but this is not likely to happen as the Chinese forces would not want to be harassed by the US assets in Okinawa, and Japan may have to respond to the naval incursion by China anyway. Japan's uh, efforts to counter China. Japan introduced the free and open Indo-Pacific vision, uh, backed by ASEAN and the EU, which involved warships by the UK, France, Germany, and the Netherlands being invited into the region by Japan. Japan is also part of the quadrilateral security dialogue alongside US, uh, Australia, and India. Additionally, Japan is holding top secret tabletop war games and joint exercises with the US, though they are presenting it as a uh, joint disaster relief training. Japan has uh, held its uh, first joint air force exercises with the Philippines uh, last week and exported a radar system to the Philippines, which was also Japan's first overseas contract for domestically produced defense equipment. Japan is also planning to bid to supply Malaysia with defense radar systems as well. Peace for all time. For now, Japan still adheres to the One China policy, not recognizing Taiwan's independence as it does not want to escalate tensions. Japan's recent posturing that it would defend Taiwan in the event of an invasion by China is probably meant as a deterrent, but this will ironically lead to a worsening of uh, the conventional arms race, where both sides rush to build up their military forces to serve as a discouragement to the other side.